Mr. Stick-Haired Politician I got some news for you If you wanna come and try to take my guns Boy, you better be bulletproof Now I have to go back to work on my State of the Union speech And I worked on it until pretty late last night But I have one thing to say to the American people And I want you to listen to me I'm gonna say this again I did not have sex relations with that woman, Monica Lewinsky. I never told anybody to lie, not a single time, never. These allegations are false. Seriously, I do not have relations with that woman. Actually, you know what, actually, I've never even been in the same room as that woman. Scratch that, I've never even seen that woman. All the other allegations were false, and this one is too. That's all. Good night, America. Ooh, that was a close one. What? The cameras are still on? And don't try to tell my children when and where to pray. You've cited Alaska's proximity to Russia mm -hmm. as part of your foreign policy experience. What did you mean by that? That Alaska has a very narrow maritime border between a foreign country, Russia, and on our other side, the land uh, boundary that we have with uh, Canada. It, it's funny that a comment like that was uh, kind of made to, um, care, I don't know, you know, reporters. Mocked. Yeah, mocked, I guess that's the word, yeah. Um, well, explain to me why that. We ain't that far gone, we're still standing on Land of the free and the home of the free Well, let's get this thing going then Called from a retirement, which I had supposed was the last, the continuation of my life To fill the chief executive office of this great and free nation I appear before you today, fellow citizens of the United States, to take the oath which the Constitution prescribes as a necessary qualification for the performance of its duties. It is a bit cold out here today. No, 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 I will be okay. The broad foundation upon which our Constitution rests, being the people of the United States of America, has henceforth been known as the we are here today to celebrate the lifelong presidency of William Harry Harrison. Yeah, he was a good president for a short, 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 short while. His life goal was to be president, and he lived it for 13 days. Rest in peace, Mr. Harrison. No, I'm not your normal political society. Excellent muffins, Johnson. You've truly outdone yourself. Thank you very much, Mr. Buchanan. Get back to our discussion. Harding, what was that you were saying? Oh, I was just trying to make my point that I was the worst president among us. Oh, his posh. Under my leadership, the country turned into true disarray after the Civil War. Hell, I was even supposed to be president. Ask anyone, I'm truly the worst. Well, why don't you ask Dred Scott? You are a compared to me. During my presidency, the country truly fell apart. I did my duty and then passed off the baton to Lincoln. Well, you both were terrible presidents. No one will forget my gigantic mistakes. The Teapot Dome scandal was legendary. Nor can you forget the ridiculous corruption of my Attorney General, Harry Dottery. The list just keeps going on. The veterans' real problems, Jess Smith. Yeah, you were pretty bad. Wait, what did you do again, Mr. Fillmore? Well, I did that one thing, and then, and then I went and did that other thing. And uh, can you pass the muffins over there? This is coming from real America's son and pissed off rednecks like me. You know what, Alexander Hamilton? I'm sick and tired of your shit, man. I was me president, and then you stepped in. I was me governor of New York, and then you stepped in. You know why you weren't governor of New York? Why? Aaron Burr? It's because you sucked! Okay. You're an idiot. That's why you weren't president. All right. You know what? That's it. We dueling. Yep, let's go. Fine, fine. Fine, let's go. Ready? Draw! Aha!
I'm George W. Bush, and I approve this message.